Hello everyone, welcome back to this exciting third video of the R Shiny Basic app. Now in the previous video what we did is we built an app with just the server and nothing in it, UI components such as the text input and the select input and then the app looked something like this where I was able to enter something as a region and then we have something as a product category. But we know that the region is also going to be a drop down like this and then um, the product category is also going to be a drop down. So what we're going to do in the next app is now expand to this, right? Now I've added some components on the server and then the UI elements pretty much remain the cell, uh, same, but the only change that I have done is in these two things, right? So I have put two inputs compared to one text input and one select input. So here we have both select inputs and then I basically have region and then region one or region two and region one is selected by default. Similarly, product category, category one and two, and then category one is selected by default, right? Now, the other thing that I did is there is a text output that I added. Now, what is this text output? Anything that I have selected from this input and this input should be visible here, right? Now, how does it be? How can it be visible? The way that we will make it visible is that we will create an output variable in the server side. Now, in the server side, we do not do anything. This is the first time we are doing something, right? And this is the component that we added here, which is an output selected variable. Now, notice what I have done here is I want a text output called a selected variable. So, what happens here is the inputs go to server, server does something with it and then sends back an output in the form of text. That's what this app is doing. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to render text. Now open the bracket, close the bracket. And I also have a curly bracket within which I can paste the component or text that I want to be getting displayed here. Right. So the text that will be displayed here is nothing but concatenation of you have selected the input from region that is this one and right that the word and and then input from product category right so that's the selection that that's get that's getting done right so basically if i select anything from here on here the text should basically get displayed just below it so if i run this app you'll notice i get region one right you'll see that region one and category one are selected if i do region two region two and category one will be selected I change this region 2 and category 2 will be selected right so basically what this means is that we can control the elements that occur in the chart or in a table through these controls right now all we have to do is add charts or tables such that if the user controls this that chart will get changed or display the result accordingly right so in the next video what we'll do is we'll try and put a chart and see how those results change right now obviously there will be some caveats which we need to learn but we'll learn in that video thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do not forget to hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel